a wise one? I think it's a king in a balloon. Hear me, good subjects, hear me. Quiet. You have witnessed a miracle. miracle. I have traveled the four winds and have arrived here safely. Is that not proof positive for you all that I am rightly called? Rudolph the Indestructible! <laughs> <laughs> King was never a well man. How <laughs> <laughs> Cooper of Hensard! Your father's death leaves you in very good spirits, Duke Michael. Yes, and I shall be in even better spirits, Hensard, when I learn of my brother's. With respect, sir, 
You refer to the new king of Ruritania. And your tone does not befit the crown. <laughs> My brother Rudolph does not befit the crown. Indeed. I do agree that he is weak, vain, spineless, and dissolute. Yes. And prefers the gaming salons of London to our court. Yeah. But perhaps uh, responsibility will change his way. <laughs> I do not intend to find out. Casper of Schweindorf. Ah, Casper. You leave for England. You know what is to be done. Do it, and you will earn my eternal gratitude. The gratitude of a king. <laughs> General Fert and young Frith. Sire, we are here to share your grief and give you escort home. Oh, yes, 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 I agree, yes. Dear Fert, I am, of course, distressed by Daddy's death. However, the king is dead, long live me. <laughs> the 16, all the 16. So, welcome to London, Fert, and you, Frith. Thank you, Your Majesty. I've never been to London before. Oh, London's a splendid place. <laughs> I venture to say it's entirely wasted on the English. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, Paris and the French uh, say elsewhere shows, and that's why Madame la Comtesse. Mais naturellement, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I beg your indulgence. My indulgence, good sir, is less as my presence here would indicate. But, sire, consider the affairs of state. The king is not averse to affairs. So the two, Fred. Sire, I must talk to you, it's urgent. Very well. Apparently, I have to go, madam. However, if your engagements permit, perhaps you would care to attend my coronation. <laughs> Absolutely everyone to come. <laughs> would be a great honor, Your Majesty. And since affairs of state are not half as interesting as the state of my affairs, <laughs> I shall have to deliver the invitation personally, you understand? <laughs> my heaven! You go too far! I am a cunt, remember? Oh, yes, I shall remember. Sixteen, oh. right? Oh, dress! and I didn't bet on it. Ah! Oh, it's ah! ah! <laughs> what do you mean I'm imperiled? I am a king. Sir, you are king in name only. You do not yet sit upon the throne, and Michael vows you never will. Oh, Michael. How dreadfully unfair to have a half-brother as rotten as Michael. If my father had been half a man, he never allowed my half-mother to run off with that half-weed. If only my half-sister would live. Sir, sir, let us return to the embassy. Make an early night of it, eh? I shall do no such thing. I am going to the Cafe Royal. Wherever you go, sire, we shall be at your side. You'll keep your distance, young Fritz, or you'll embarrass the lady and your king. Cafe Royal, driver. <laughs> Thank you. 
seen you around here before. This is my beat, mate. You're trespassing. You ain't got no license. I say I'm talking to you. Oi! If you don't get off out of it, I'll call a cop and I'll tell you straight. Is that your last word? You him. Thank <laughs> God with your love there. <laughs> I want you now. Oh. Your Majesty, my lady. Oh, yes. You mean... Uh, this dear lady. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, Your Majesty, and that undoing. is very good. No, not undoing yet. No, no. Oh, Don't undo Let yet. me undo something. No. And a married woman at that. Scandal now with coronation at hand. Rock Europe, Prince. Rock Europe. <laughs> Oh, won't you join us? Please do. No, 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 merci, gentlemen. Perhaps some other time. Well, here today. Oh, that's not your father, is it? No. Then, sir, I must ask you to leave and forget what you said. Sir, pardon, your royal highness. As I is suspected. Well, king or no king, tonight you die like a dog. No, 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 wait, Montparnasse, wait. You are kind and a gentleman. Hmm. I am a king and a gentleman. <laughs> At least, allow me the privilege. Of a duel, sir. <laughs> Very well, sire. I am a man of honor. You will have your duel. Permit me to choose my weapon, sir. <laughs> of course. I bow to your request. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The king is safe, Uncle. For how long, then? For how long? Where to, Governor? The Ruritanian Embassy, Belgrave Square. And thank you for your assistance, my good man. Absolutely nothing of it. It's none of my business, but uh, what was all that ruckus about back there just now? Hmm? Oh, well, you see, oh, we've no idea. A mistaken identity, no doubt. Who's he then? The man the eye mask? <laughs> Please drive straight on. We're in a great hurry. Yes, Governor. Something wrong? No. No, there's nothing wrong. I'm sorry, Gabby. Drive on. Right, right. Come on, Sylph. Come on, come on. I do believe a solution to our problem has just stared us in the face. Yes, I must admit, gents, your offer is very tempting and very generous. I've never been abroad, let alone to, uh, where, where was that? Ruritania, sir. Ruritania, Ruritania yeah, yeah. And royal coachman. Oh, blimey. I, mean, I could have asked myself, why me, haven't I? Eh? <laughs> well, in, in the first place, royal Italian coachmen are notoriously bad drivers. No, more important. More important. I consider myself to be an excellent judge of character, Mr. Uh... Fruin, sir. Sidney Fruin. Sidney Fruin. Yes, that's right. That's right. All sounds very tempting. Could have admit. Well, if I was to take it, I mean, what would happen to my Sylvia? I couldn't leave Sylvia just like that. My dear chap, bring her with you. Nah, no, it wouldn't work, sir. Now she's past it. Her lungs are gone. She's deaf as a post. Of course, I know what you'll say. You'll say have her shot, but I couldn't do it. The English shoot their women? He's talking about his horse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Sylvia's my horse. Yeah, I'm not married, Governor. No, no. Yes, well, I'm sure we can arrange something appropriate for your Sylvia. Eh? Eh? Right. Right. <laughs> Hello, Syl. How are you, darling? I know. Didn't recognise me in my new get-up, did you? Eh? <laughs> I made sure you're going to be all right. You are going to be an embassy horse. You're going to live in this lovely stable, have your own personal groom like a thoroughbred, sugar and apples every day, and on top of that, listen to this. I've got you diplomatic immunity. You know what that means? You can stop and have a pee whenever you like, girl. Think about it. Think about it. I'll see you later. <clears throat> Incredible. It's amazing. The resemblance is remarkable. But does he have any breeding? I mean, is he of royal blood? Oh, no, sir. He's a commoner. A very common commoner. Does a, 
Does the fairy know the real reason why you pressed him in the service? Oh, no, sire. Last night we were most careful that he never saw your face. Oh, don't mention last night. I have the most dreadful headache. Yes, oh, that was a very oh. nasty fall you had. So yes, very, very nasty. nasty. Very, very embarrassing. So, General, I take it your plan is that you and I return home in secret. Yes, sire. We will take a northern route, while young Fritz here will take the decoy by train on the route that Michael will expect. But the wretched fellow's life's not worth a fig. I mean, can we... can we use him with such callous disregard? Sire, the, the alternative will be to endanger your own life. Yes. Yes, we'll call you absolutely right, sir. Yes, proceed. Yes, sir. Hello. Stop! It does not fool me. I am not intimidated by your station, sire, and I demand satisfaction. Ah, your flagrant flirtation insults my wife, and thereby you insult me. Yeah. Ah. Think twice, sire, before you pick up the gauntlet. I must advise you, I am the finest swordsman in all Europe. And should you accept my challenge, I shall first of all, and you will find my initials carved upon your cheek. Then, pardon, which will slip you from your groin to your gullet. What do you think of that, sire? Up yours, mate. I'll see if our escort has arrived. Oh, sir, I won't move. For you. See him, please, sir. I uh, know. Uh, look here, my man. I am travelling with your new king, it's, Rudolph, it's the... who is returning to Ruritania for his coronation. Here are his royal papers. Here are mine. Please be quick. The king is growing impatient. He's anxious to move on. The royal carriage awaits. Actually, he's growing restless. Go to Duke Michael with the news. The king returns to Ruritania. This girl just got clobbered with a bucket of paint. I mean... Yes, yes, well, this sort of thing happens in Ruritania. Follow me. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 not yet. We don't need you to start your duties yet. Oh, right, sir, right. Oh, after you, sir. Oh, no, after you, sir. No, after you, sir. Please, we'll get in the carriage. But that's not the way it's done, sir. I mean, I should have opened the door for you. Please, sir, I insist. Right. You're the governor. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome to my lodge, sir. You often used to stay here when you were a little boy, you know. Uh, this dreadful place. Yes, I remember it. For goodness sake, someone help me off this wretched creature. Help His Majesty. You. Help His Majesty. May I presume, General, you'll be good enough to offer me some small measure of creature comfort? But of course, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Lear. Must do your heart good to be back home here in your native land. I will listen to my heart when I wetted my ass. Now remember, we must take the king alive. <laughs> What's happening, sir? We're being attacked for it. Power! No, 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 don't worry, Thrun. They're no match for the King's Royal Guard. You mean there's nothing to worry about, then? <laughs> no. That's all right, Governor. Um, sire. Is this your Prince? Majesty. Majesty. Oh, through it. Thank God. You're, you're safe. Thank God. General. Yes. No disrespect, sir, but I would like some answers. Yes. Something very strange is going on around here. On the way, we was attacked by a bunch of highwaymen. We managed to shake them off, but after the attack, two of the soldiers that was with us rode up and called me Your Majesty. Just now, when I was walking in, two of the flunkies outside 
Call me the same thing, right? Hello, Now, what I want to know is... Hello. Is that... I think it's time that Fuen and I were properly introduced. Of course, sir. Your Majesty, may I present Mr. Sidney Fluin of Bethnal Green, London. Mr. Fluin, His Majesty King Rudolph of Ruritania. Could I have a large whiskey, please? Johan? Go to bed. Yes, sir. And Joseph, fetch some more the claret, will you? Um, the 68. Uh, the 68, certainly, Master Fitz, certainly, sir. I just leave it there and knock on the door. Oh, no, Master Fitz. I always, I always, I always decant the wine myself, Master Joseph. Fitz. Just fetch the wine. Yes, yes. all right, sir. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, who'd have thought it, eh? Eh? <laughs> Sinfrey and Bethnal Green, I'm nobbing with the Royals. I tell you, if I went down my local pub, Said to the lads, you'll never guess where I was last week. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Fruin. This tale must never be told. Anyway, who believe it? I mean, me, this spitting image of King Rudolph of Ruritania. It's got to be a laugh, hasn't it? It's a bit that easy, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Fluid. Yes. You really are a decent chap. Thank you. Did your father like England? Oh, of course he liked England. London especially. He adored the music halls. And the acts with his, oh, the acts with his were his real weakness. <laughs> Thereby hang the tail, or two, or three. <laughs> My mum was an actress, Tissy Fruin. And who was your father? Oh, I never knew him, Your Majesty. He disappeared before I was born. Fritz, what? Go and see what's keeping that miserable, wretched servant. We need more wine. Yes, sir. <laughs> she was a sweet little dicky bud. Tweet, 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 she went. So here she sang to me. Oh, my body was pale. Where'd you learn that? Yeah, they used to sing that. Oh, I say, Uncle Chester, has been at your wine. <laughs> He's lying downstairs in a pool of carrot. But that's not like him. Show me, boy. Show me. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Mr. Fluid, excuse me. Oh, I know my own frailty, Fluid. I know I know the man to woo Virginia. Well, from what I've heard, you could be better than that bloke, Michael. Right character, he must be trying to kill his own brother. 
Yeah, look at him. Hmm? Drunk as a lord. Oh. He's not drunk, Fritz. He's alive. Oh, help me out. Oh, my dear. Ah, uh, yes. Two pictures, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Old General Sap, bit of a dark horse, isn't he keeping these around the house? <laughs> You never guess it to look at him. I mean, he looks like the fat that wouldn't melt his mouth. No, it's real, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's just as though you put your hand out and touch it. Cool. Cool. Well, this one's got no knickers on. Cool. I never knew little bow people look like that. Cool. And I... Uh, You'll be fine. Come on, Mitch. You'll be fine. Come on. Oh. Oh. He was one of the early birds. And I... Oh, there's the old king. I can see the fairy likeness. Yeah. Majesty? Hmm? Majesty? Hello. Through Where's his majesty? He's on the couch. The couch. Oh, he was here. He was here. Uh, he... Your majesty! Yeah. Your majesty! 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 And, sir, you've gone too far, sir! Far too far! No! Boy, you could hit the king! I'll saddle the horses. We'll never catch them. Those devils have taken the king. All is lost. Who's taken the king? The black heart Rupert of Hensor, Michael's henchman. But no, he was... I look, he was right. If the king was guard, I should have protected him. Why, Fritz, I'm telling you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All is not lost. All is not lost. That is, if we can persuade our brave friend here to play his role once more. Play his role once more. Mm. Where? What? The coronation, Mr. Fred. The coronation. We desperately need your help. You don't expect me to take his part of the coronation, do you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, gentlemen, not for anything in the world. And that is final. My answer is no! <laughs> and now, perhaps I should go and see him. My brother is comfortable. <laughs> if he is, I will have the jailer flogged! <laughs> what a benevolent ruler you will make, Michael. The day may come, Henzo, when your insolence outweighs your usefulness. <laughs> What an honour it is, sir, that you should favour this terrible place with your presence. How is the prisoner, Bruno? Awful, sir. I'll put him in number three, as you can see. It's the one with the most rats. Good. It's the darkest and the dingiest. Also, as a terrible draught comes up through the gratings. I took the liberty, sir, of greasing the Iron Maiden. Excellent. Oh, it is nice to think that this old place might once again echo to the screams of excruciating agony. How dare you imprison me in this ghastly place? It will not be for long, brother. Only until the crown of Ruritania sits upon my head. The crown is mine. The people will never give it to you. What do you know about the people? 
I know that the people... When you they... chose to play the fool and spendthrift, to live your life in exile, but your absence from the coronation will be taken as the final insult. The people will offer the crown to me, and I will accept it with a modest grace. God bless you, sir. Shut up! Yes, shut up! My lips are sealed, sir. Michael, why do you hate me, Phil? Because you are conceited, arrogant, spineless, selfish, shallow, petty, pompous, and pitiful. But apart from that... Farewell, love. No. No, Michael. Michael? Take Flavia. She's yours. Yes, yes, take her. Yes. The crown jewels, Michael. You'll love them. You can have such fun with them. The treasury, have the treasury, Michael. You'll love the treasury, Michael. My, 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 my butterfly can lick. without an ounce of honor or principle. Well, it's what I do best. Well, second best. If Michael catches you, he'll give you to Bruno. <laughs> if Michael becomes king, he will marry the Princess Flavia. <laughs> and you will be very lonely. What are you talking about? Tomorrow, Rudolph will be crowned king. That, my lady, depends on where Rudolph lies tonight. Hmm? <laughs> now then, Your Grace, when the king shall kneel, you will proclaim in the eyes of God and men. Yes, 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 I know all that. I may be 92, but I'm sound in mind and body. Possession of all my faculties, my brain is as alert and sharp as ever. And with God's grace, long may it remain so. Come in. Say, Governor, you're paying a rent.
repeat after me. I am the sword, I am the shield, and as I am king. <laughs> Just crown him, your grace. God save the king. God save the king. God save the king. God save the king. thy vassal, swearing to serve thee in truth, with love, life, and limb. Refuse. You must go. I refuse. Pardon? But certainly. Merci. to words like, but oh, yes, no, please, thank you. Well, that's mad. How am I going to go around and say, yes, no, please, thank you, to well, people no more think than, I'm a learning? No more than that. No more than that. But at least, at least, try and, try and confine yourself to words with no R's in them. You may have noticed that the king has trouble with his R's. Yeah, I had that once. You get it from sitting on damp grass. Right? Come in. Uh, you'll be fine, Fruin. No one at court will doubt you are the king. Yes? I have been instructed to present the faithful companion of the late King Rudolf IV to His Majesty Rudolf V. Uh, sire, you remember your late father's faithful friend, Jasper. Oh. Hello, Jasper. Nice little doggy. Get back. Take him to his quarters. Or let him take you to his. There's no brandy round his neck. Yes, well, Jasper certainly believes you're the king. He could never stand Rudolf. Yes, indeed. Well, now, custom dictates the king opens the grand ball with the first waltz. In this case, your partner will be Her Royal Highness, the Princess Flavia. I take it you can waltz through it. Waltz? Of course I'll waltz. Perhaps you would care to demonstrate. Fritz, perhaps you'd be kind enough to take the part of the Princess Flavia in order to demonstrate to the general my skills and the arts. Stop trying to leave, Fritz. seen our new king before. He, he's a bit odd. He's in there dancing with another man. It's not for the 
the likes of you and me to question the ways of royalty. Yeah, well, I guess you're right there, Sarge. Mm. away from death. seen each other for some time. Is it uh, three years now? It was when you visited my country. On the occasion of my father's funeral. You're rather like Prince Hal in Shakespeare, sire, who was totally transformed upon becoming king. Your manner, your bearing, and certainly your dancing. My honor demands satisfaction, sire. <laughs> Jill. <clears throat> Jill, control yourself. Control we're not myself. here for revenge, we're here for the king's balls. I will have them both. <laughs> At least the Count believes you are the king. You are not the king, sir. I have danced with the king before, and I know you and I have never met. Could I have a word with you in private? I think you should. Now, begging your pardon, one word out of you, and I'm going to be right in it. But I may not denounce you if I know the reason for this masquerade. Well, Michael's shanghai the king, and I've been hired to take his place because I look like him. How about that? Michael's what? He's shanghai the king. No. Yeah, I'll tell you. I was in London. Your Majesty, I must talk to you. It's urgent. Friend. And 
Sir, please. Leaving so early, brother? It would seem, play actor, that you have little stomach for the perils that lie before you. <laughs> this is intolerable. It is you, gentlemen, that began this dangerous game. In what foreign gutter did you find this fool? That's it. Round the back. Round the what? Outside, you and me. Come. <laughs> My God, the fellow has spirit. I must decline your invitation until a more suitable occasion. Right. All you've got to do is name a place any day, any time. Time is something that you have very little of. Your Majesty, please. I must insist. <laughs> Your Majesty. The masquerade is all but ended. You, you, leave us, leave us, leave us. Yes, my lord. Miserable bastard. I might have go back and knock his bloody head off. Fruit, please, please. What's it all about, General? What's happening around here? What's going on, eh? Fruit, don't concern yourself. Don't concern myself? Don't concern. Do you know what happened to me just now? A woman come up, gave me one of her earrings, and told me my life was in danger. There's some lunatic cunt in there, keeps threatening to slip my throat, and now this red hair git tells me I haven't got my song to live. Don't concern myself. Fruin, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> really. Why can't I go back home to London? I've done everything you've asked me to do. I went to the coronation. Got all through that, no trouble, right? I'll come here, dance with the Princess Flavia, the waltz, as you asked me to do, no trouble. Fruin, go to bed and sleep soundly. Your life could not be in safer hands. Good. Majesty, how reckless, how how daring, how shh. Oh, oh, ah, ah, shh. <sighs> how exciting. Oh, sire, I've waited so long. Ask anything of me. What can I offer you? So, spending the night at his embassy, you can have me all for yourself. 
What would be your greatest pleasure? Oh, but darling, but of course, with us between them. Oh, my darling, you excite me so much. Come in. Come in. Oh, hello, Jasper boy. What is it? Sire, you're more desirable than ever. If you excuse me for one moment, I will go and prepare myself for your majestic passion. Walkies this time of night. What is it? Wait a minute, Jasper. Come here. Here. Tell him. What's he doing? He's obviously trying to tell us something. Oh, Woody. Oh, my Woody, Woody. Woody. Natalie? Are you still awake? I, uh, I beg your forgiveness, my love. It is only that you have deprived me for so long. Well, even now, so irresistible to me. Please, I am on fire, Cherie. Mm. I love, I love everything about you. Your smell, your breast. Your waist, your hips, your thighs, your boots. <laughs> you have put on the boots. <laughs> My naughty, naughty Natalie. <sighs> I have never seen these boots before. Something about them <laughs> excites me. I will unlace them with my teeth. Oh, Natalie. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh, Natalie. <gasps> Natalie! Oh, what are you doing there? When you are. It's nothing to do with me, mate. I'm just on my way to London. My swamp! My king! My sheets! I will kill him! You Mr. 
it ready? It is. One of my very finest creations. It work? Of course it will work. <laughs> All my bombs work. It will explode on impact. So don't go dropping it until you get round the corner. Ah, Monsieur Le Guerre, this will buy your silence. If it does not, my sword will. Bombs the word mayhem's my business. Business. Oh, how marvellous. I breed horses, too. We could go riding together. Yeah, well, uh, I don't exactly breed them. I drive them. I'm a cabbie. What? Handsome cab driver. Very honourable profession. Yeah. your name? Sydney Percival Fruin. Beautiful admirer. It's not me she's after. She's got a passion for kings. Anything looks like a king, she'd go after it. Even Rudolph. Do you know, it beats me how any woman could have anything to do with that twit. Oh, I'm sorry. It's quite all right. You see, my father promised me to Rudolph when I was six years old. Six years old? That's just not right. And you mean to tell me there's nothing you can do about it? I can okay you. Couldn't you run away somewhere? I've thought about it, but... You see, I, I would take my conscience with me. Oh, I tell you. I got it. Try to hit my ball. That is a tricky lie. <laughs> I've got an idea. Listen, while I still got this king job, I could just cancel your engagement to Rudolph. I would be a traitor to my own country. You see, we could never survive without Ruritanian potatoes. Oh. Uh, got to have the potatoes. Yes. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. However, there is something you could do for me. Yeah? for a stroll in the garden, just the two of us. All right. This is a first. First time <laughs> Princess has ever asked me to go for a walk.
I am your lawful king. Oh, now, let's not go through that again. I have pledged unquestioned obedience and loyalty to Duke Michael. But I... I can offer you untold wealth. Untold wealth? Yes. Buna, free me, and you will know luxury for the rest of your life. Uh, I know you. Once you're back on the throne, we'll see. Bruno, never heard of him. If you doubt me, Bruno, if you doubt my intent, take this. What is it? It is a royal ring, a flawless ruby. Is it valuable? It is my most precious possession. It was stolen from the Habsburgs in 1563. Yeah. It is anything else <laughs> if only we could lure the Englishman from the palace but that confounded sap guards him too well I wish you'd let me dispose of Rudolph don't be a fool Hensow if I did that English oaf would rule for the rest of his life no the imposter must die first and be buried in the cathedral as the king. And uh, she continues, I cannot emphasize too strongly the urgency of this request. Yours, respectfully, Antoinette de Maubon. Now, what a minute. Wait a minute. Let, let me see if I understand this. Mm. Michael's mistress, Antoinette, wants me to meet her tonight alone at a windmill. At a windmill, yes, yes. At a windmill, yes. At a windmill. Now, it is quite true that this letter could be a trap. But time is running against us. We must force their hand. We? We, yes. Flint, myself, you. Oh, because in this letter, she says I'm to go alone. We'll be with you, of course. If it is a trap. We'll be waiting in the shadows. Yes. Tonight, Sidney Bruin, you can determine the course of history. <laughs> oh, bloody well could, you know. Yeah. I could leave things just as they are. I could be king, marry to Princess Flavia, and rule this place. <laughs> That's a very good point. But you're not yeah. that kind of man. How do you know? This letter would be the last chance to save my king. You see, Fruin, I feel about the crown as another man might feel about the woman he loves. Or his horse. All right, then, all right. I knew I could rely upon you. Hang on, hang on. If I do this tonight, that is it. This is my farewell appearance. Oh, stout fellow Fruin. Believe me, Mr. Fruin, you will gain something from this affair that few men ever require. Yeah. Fair and match steerings. The way I see it is if we do rescue Rudolph, I won't be seeing you again. And if we don't, I know I won't be seeing you again. So I thought, well, I thought I'd like to see you again. I've wanted to see you too. I think it's disgraceful of Sap to ask this of you. Well, I can't beg out my word now, can I? Besides that, I'm being very handsomely paid. If you live to collect it. Oh, Sid, I admire your sense of duty and your courage, but don't you see? You're just being used. Yeah, but only in the same way as you're being used with your marriage to Rudolph. Said I didn't choose to be a princess. 
And since I met you, oh, I wished I wasn't. You see, I have to do what is expected of me. You mean Ruritani and Vitalis? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, quicker I'll get this started, quicker it'll be over. Goodbye, Princess. It's been lovely. I'll pray for you. And I'll dream about you for the rest of my life. Thank you, General. on foot, as if you were alone. We will, of course, be close at hand. Now, if you're in any sort of danger, give the hoot of an owl, like so. Is that a barn owl or a tawny owl, Uncle? Fritz, please. Please. Hoot of an owl. No, I'm sorry, General. I can't do owls. It's vital, you see. It's the secret signal. <laughs> hoot of an owl. I'm sorry, General. Look, can't, why can't you have a, say, a secret chicken signal instead of a secret owl signal? Has it got to be a... Why has it got to be an owl? All right, lady, here I am. Where's the king? First, you must promise me that no harm will come to Michael. I can promise you I won't hurt him. But I can't speak for anyone else. 
I'll do what I can. That's all I can do. All right. The king is being held prisoner in the dungeons of Zendo. And if the castle is stormed, Michael's men have been instructed to kill him immediately. Go on. So, someone has to gain entrance secretly somehow into Zenda and do something, and then I will manage to help them in, in some way. It's a great plan, that is. Yeah. Why are you doing all this? Because I'm a very jealous woman. Because it's a princess. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks. We all thought this was a trap. Oh, but it is. What? Sign the secret chicken. She did an owl. She just did an owl. She's over there! Bark, bark! Stop! Stop! What? Why? Well, that's my signal. You, you do chickens as well? Yeah. Bark! 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 We're surrounded. We're surrounded by owls. Here they come. I'm telling him it wasn't my signal. It was a chicken. Right. Sender. Right. Where are you going? I think I've got an idea. Idea. Well done, and thank you, old friend. Discovered, sir. Ah! Oh, no, no, right.
Back to Zender. Make it fast. Night was there. The mouse nibbled the cheese, the trap was sprung, but uh, somehow he managed to escape. Really? Did you betray me, madam? They came prepared. By whose word? You! I say, Fuin, I am most frightfully sorry, Fuin, really I am. Yeah. So am I. <laughs> of course, it must be a bit of a bother walking around the spitting image of each other. But I'm going to change all that with the help of my darling. Elena. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> you see, what I do, just open it up like that, see? Then I sit you down on this nice little seat, place your feet just there. Then, very gently, lower the headpiece down so it fits nice and snug over your head, you see, like that. And then, adjust the nose piece. Yeah? Give it a couple of turns to break it, one or two places. Then with this little instrument, you can do several things. Pull out a few teeth, or put the tongue in, and then it twist it. <laughs> it's called a tongue twister. <laughs> but the piece de resistance is the ear piece. You see, you just twiggle that round with it. <laughs> Elena. Elena, that's not very nice. Now let me out. Let me out. Sweet. Oh, you are a naughty girl. What are you doing in there? Getting out, sir. I was just demonstrating. Demonstrating? Yes. Very successfully, too. Idiot! Well, gentlemen, at last, everything is as it should be. It won't be many moments now, brother, before a tragic accident will befall you, and the reign of Rudolf V will come to a grisly end. Ruritania will have the monarch she deserves. And as for you, play actor, <laughs> at least you've come through this affair with honor. Therefore, I extend to you the courtesy of chivalry, please. quickly and cleanly by the sword. Stop, Michael! Let them go. What the devil? I mean it, Michael. Let them go. Put that thing away, madam. You don't even know how to use it. Kill him, Fuin, kill him! No! You promised. If he's to die, let it be by my hand. Just go, quickly. Have you gone mad? Don't step another inch, Michael. I swear I shall shoot again. Thank you very much, miss. I'll return your earrings one of these days. 
stupid female. If they escape, it means exile or worse. And if they don't, I'd as soon be dead. Is there anything I can do? Gentlemen, our king is in danger. We ride at once for Zenda. I promise you that Flavia would be my queen in name only. You will always be my one love. I wish I could believe that. If only she wasn't so beautiful. There is no woman so beautiful that she could cool my passion for you. Now then, who taught you to shoot? Was it Hensau? Has Rupert been stalking you? I haven't been unfaithful to you, Michael. Yeah. No wonder you love him. Charles disposed of Michael, have you? Uh, no, not yet. And I shall continue to serve his cause. Your Majesty, prepare to die. Up yours, <laughs> Rudolph, go hide yourself, quick. <laughs> I hope you'll die with grace, Englishman. <laughs> special with that knitting needle. But what about... What about the old man to man, huh? No, I prefer the odds the way they are. <laughs> Have you got any idea how that laugh of yours drives people up the wall? <laughs> Open in the name of the king! That's the king's royal guard down here. Shall I swim the moat, Uncle? And then what? Well, you have nothing more to fear, Englishman. I am no longer your enemy. With the King's Royal Guard outside the gates, for a soldier of fortune such as I, there is but one honourable course. What's that? Surrender? Never! I simply change sides. Do I hear an offer for my services? You're hired. Ah, so you caught one of them. Well done. Now, where is Rudolph? Go and find the king, Englishman. It'll be my extreme pleasure to dispense with Michael. You're mad, Enzo. Treachery! Treachery, guards! Guards! Thank you. 
drawbridge, you must find the king. Right, right. <laughs> we haven't discussed my fee yet. Not now, Rupert. How do you like the drawbridge? I'll deal with the drawbridge. Put the king in the basket. Quick, Rudolph, in the basket. But I just got out of the basket. <laughs> One king coming up. <laughs> Two of you, get tense out. Please don't kill me, please. I surrender. <laughs> Grab hold of something, sire! Jump into the water. But I can't swim. That's all right, mate. Neither can I. Come on, come on, come on. I'm too young to 
die. So am I. Let's go. Where is His Majesty the King? <laughs> you traitor, sir. <laughs> Take him away. Uncle! One's the king, Uncle. Welcome, Your Majesty. We've missed you. <laughs> uh, there must be a slight mistake. Tell me your name, dearest. Yeah, by all means. The name is Fuen. Sidney Fuen. The sixteen, always the sixteen. Ah. I now pronounce you man and wife.